Hi, I'm Congressman Bob Latta from Ohio's 5th Congressional District. Last week was our work period during the President's uh, week. And I spent the entire week in my district. And I went from north to south, east to west. We were doing courthouse conferences. Every day I heard the same thing from people. You know, times are tough. You know, jobs are getting scarce. People are worried. But they have great faith in this country. They have great faith that we can get through this. But they all said the same thing. You know, when they looked at the trillion dollar stimulus package that had just been passed by the Democrats, they said, you know what, why isn't government cutting? How are we going to pay for this? Because they just remembered a $700 billion bailout for banks. You know, we're talking about $275 billion on mortgages now. A $411 billion omnibus package coming up. The folks say, we got to do something. And they're right. What government's got to do is cut. And one of the best things we could do right now to help us get through this recession quickly is by reducing taxes. You know, we've heard talk from the Obama administration, what we need to do is raise taxes on businesses, to raise taxes on individuals. That's not going to get this economy moving. Getting this economy moving will be saying, we're going to cut business taxes so those businesses can get out there, buy new equipment, put people back to work, so your friends and neighbors have those jobs. We can't have uh, individuals out there paying more taxes, because what we need to do is let those people go out there and stimulate the economy by buying those new houses, buying those cars, buying those washers and dryers, those refrigerators. But if they don't have the dollars in their pocket, it's not going to get done. And this is really the same old talk that we're hearing again from the Obama administration of that we're going to, you know, tax the rich and tax those awful businesses out there. But again, businesses create jobs. Government consumes wealth. We can't have that happen. So, you know, we're going to be working as Republicans in the United States House of Representatives to keep this country on a right course, and that course is going to be to cut taxes not only on individuals and on businesses. Thanks very much.